Alright, so I'm going to do some demos on different size glass jars that uh, this uh, jar opener can be used on. I tried to use some small lids and some large lids. Um, I didn't realize how large this was when I bought it. It's advertised, uh, it's marketed for elderly people who have trouble opening jars, but gosh, I've had trouble opening jars a lot longer than... <laughs> <laughs> I've been alive, I mean, a kid, even an adult, and then of course elderly. So um, it's for everybody in my opinion. I don't know why they market it towards the elderly. I don't know. Anyway, they vary in price wildly. Uh, I spent a little more hoping I was buying quality. <laughs> it says that it passed QC. I don't know if someone put a sticker on there <laughs> or they actually had a QC. Uh, there's a CE mark, but I do not see a brand. I think that's their logo. I'm not sure. I think I paid like 18 bucks. But anyway, it was a lot larger than I thought. Seven inches. I don't think you realize how big seven inches is until it's there in your hand. So seven by, what's that, four and a half. It's a pretty good size. It uses two AA batteries. Um, you just set it on top of the jar. They say only use glass jars. Uh, some plastics are extremely thin and just cannot handle the grip that this locks down onto the jar before these jaws grab the lid and open the container. So they say use it on glass only, which, you know, for most products, you should be buying them in glass, not plastic anyway. But that's just my opinion. Sorry I threw that in. It's just push the button and go. You'll see in the video I was new to the product and I held it in place for a while. Um, you can hold it in place. That's probably good practice. But you can just set it on the jar, push the button, and then hands off all the way. It'll uh, grab the lid. It'll lock into place, grab the lid, open the jar or container, and then unwind, and you're done. So, all right, I'll let's see you. how it works on this small one here. There we go, auto magic. No spill. All right, this lid was two and a quarter inches. Okay, this pickle jar is three and a quarter inches in diameter. It also still has the seal on it, the tamper seal. So I'm going to leave that on and see how it goes. No problem. Again, the number one reason why I like this it still has a seal on it. Look how full that jar is. You can see the liquid is all the way to the top, and I didn't spill a drop. Now, here is the lid. You can see I still had the seal on it. So I didn't even have to take the seal off. It's easier to take it off after the lid's removed. So there's that. All right, this jar is two and three eighths. So let's do two and three eighths. And 
Here, I'll even turn it because I'm not getting paid. <laughs> And again, I really like that nothing spills. All right. Okay, this lid is just under three inches. Ta-da!